Hello, my name is Robert Murray. I'm the manager in product marketing at the Semantic Enterprise Division of Broadcom. Today, I would like to talk to you about the role of privilege access management in preventing healthcare breaches. Like every industry, healthcare is embracing digital transformation, leveraging technology and IT innovation to transform the business. This is the why. The why can be summarized into two broad categories, improve the care that is being provided and reduce the cost of delivering these services. Ideally, you want your digital transformation initiatives to do both. Beyond these benefits, digital transformations also create a challenge. Nearly every digital initiative involves data, and in many cases, the creation of data. It is estimated that healthcare will create 25 zettabytes of data by 2025. This data has value, but in order to derive any benefits from it, it needs to be made available 24-7 to the people and systems that need it. And this introduces the challenge. How to make this data easily accessible, but also protect it from being stolen. At the moment, the numbers for this challenge are not good. Healthcare breaches increased 196% in 2019, which sounds bad, but it's not actually that bad. Overall, data breaches were up 400% in 2019, so healthcare increased, but was well under the overall average. The cost of healthcare breaches was estimated to be about $4 billion, and Forbes reported that almost 74% of all breaches start with privileged credential abuse. This brings us to the role of privilege access management and why it is being implemented by so many organizations. It is viewed as a first line of defense against data breaches. But what is privilege access management? To understand PAM, it is first important to understand the difference between a business user and a privilege user. For the business user, native controls within an application or IT system typically limit what the user can do. These controls can be based on roles, group memberships, or profile attributes. But the privileged user typically bypasses these controls and has unlimited access to an application or an IT system. And this problem is further compounded because privilege accounts are often shared by multiple users. This creates an accountability issue as, nearly, as in nearly impossible to determine who is using the account when something bad happens. And worse, many of these accounts give the user the ability to disable auditing or delete audit files, so there is no record of what they did. Finally, the last problem with privilege accounts is that they are not just used by people. Many applications and devices use privilege accounts and often leverage hard-coding administrative credentials that are ripe for theft and misuse, often with little or no security protecting them at all. These challenges are addressed through a solution like Semantic PAM, which provides a comprehensive set of capabilities for protecting privileged credentials, including a secure vault that protects access to these credentials. Users must first authenticate themselves to PAM using MFA credentials before they gain access to the credentials themselves. Session reporting that captures all privilege activities and links these activities back to the user for compliance audits and accountability. Risk analytics that monitors these activities in real time and triggers mitigating actions if unusual or out of pattern behavior is detected. This is ideal for detecting malicious insiders. Automated app password management, or as it's more commonly called today, secrets management, allows you to remove embedded passwords or other privilege credentials from scripts or configuration files. This is being used a lot in DevOps where they're used when they're taking privilege credentials out of the automation tools. Agent or host-based access control provides fine-grained access control over critical servers. And of course, these capabilities must be delivered across the hybrid environment from the mainframe to the cloud. But that is not all. Our PAM solution is also part of the Semantic Integrated Cyber Defense Platform, which includes endpoint network and data security solutions and has access to one of the largest civilian data lakes of security event data in the world. Well, this ends my presentation. I hope that this helped you understand the role of privilege access management in healthcare and helping to prevent data breaches. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. And for more information, please visit us on broadcom.com. Thank you.